You got to get ready for this. I, I got to get ready for this all one, right, man. Well, I, I like. I need a minute. Well, first of all, this next story <laughs> it, it's full of stupidity. <laughs> it involves a man's testicles. And, and the gay community, it is insane. And it happened here in Michigan. Yeah, this in, is local. In fact, I teach a kickboxing class every Monday afternoon in downtown yes. Pontiac. And apparently this dude's a former lover um, who is in possession of stolen merchandise. <laughs> Actually, it's more like abandoned merchandise. Uh, <laughs> okay, just re- read the chat. An excised merchandise. Ah! Oh! <laughs> he was from Ferndale. Just read the chat. All right, all right. Just read the Here chat. Here we go. All right. Now the chat from Jackson Whittier, Tennessee, is proposing a bill that would make paternity fraud a crime. Good. It needs to happen. Yes. That should be everywhere. Okay, we're ready on the right. Oh, here we go. Ready on the left. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> With real stories like this, you have to wonder how the Babylon Bee is still in business. This is the very feminine Muslim, Zara Breezy Muharib. And I say it like that because it sounds like you're trying to order like a, a McRib, an extra spicy McRib, Zira while your mouth is full. Zira You just pull into the McDonald's line in the drive-through. Zara Breezy Muharib. You know what? Zara Breezy Muharib. Are you gonna get a big Mac? Go oh, fuck you, man. <laughs> you got back from the day, you fucking bastard. Yeah, uh, your Big Mac needs to be halal. <laughs> That's not going to happen. And that just sounds like Arnold Schwarzenegger is trying to teach you how to how to eat Muslim. Oh, no. halal, 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 halal. Well, that's the equivalent of uh, Jewish kosher. There, there you go. Yeah, it's called halal. It's so feminine. Uh, his real name is Brianna Kingsley, forty year old from Pontiac near Detroit who had doctors castrate him so he could live out his fetish of pretending to be a woman. And if that wasn't deranged enough, Kingsley recently decided to identify as a Muslim. And I couldn't oh write a joke God. better than this. I look forward to him making the Hajj to Mecca where he definitely won't get thrown off a roof and or stoned for being a pervert. Listen, we're not being mean. That really happens in the Middle East. A little bit. And well, they not only just stone people like this, they stone women and little girls for all kinds of effed up shit. Exactly. So, of course, there's a, a Detroit News article all about this, and they sample some quotes here. Here's a, a journalist writing her testicles after four years of studying for a degree. <laughs> <laughs> and a handwritten F, David and Claim, Brianna Kingsley, 40, wrote, Defendant retains possession of my surgically extracted testicles, preserved in a mason jar, kept in the fridge next to the eggs. Oh! oh that's ironic. Demand immediate return of my human remains specimen and damages of sixty five hundred dollars. You might as well make it sixty nine hundred just to send the joke home and over yeah, the yeah. Yeah. Add four hundred to it. Poor oppressed trans people. In Ferndale, according to the Royal Oak Tribune, Kingsley pulled a knife on her then roommate her then roommate, also a transgender woman on Christmas Day. Mm. Because that's the Christmas gift you want. Here's something you can stuff in your new man made stocking that you so you can dilate it every day. <laughs> it's horrible. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> you can't make this stuff up, man. Oh, my God. Wonder, this is terrible. What if he's going to eat the testicles with the eggs? Like, I don't know. I read the direct quote from the police. Direct quote from the police. When the victim didn't immediately comply, the suspect held the knife above her head in a threatening manner. Clowns. Yeah. All of them. Mm-hmm. Absolutely correct. Over at the feminist outlet Redux, they note that this man has posted about getting aroused by going for a mammogram, posted a video of himself unboxing his castrated testicles on TikTok, and organized an event at a strip club where he performed on stage. Yeah. All right. If this isn't in insanity, I, I literally don't know what is. This puts a bow on it, yeah. Oh, my God. We need to bring back the asylum system. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> Holy smoke and Joe Frazier. Because this is what happens when you let the lunatics out of the asylum. The whole world becomes one. And yep. guess who's running the show? The people who want to play along with the delusional. That's right. And that doesn't go anywhere good. No. How much money do they really <clears throat> think they're going to make pushing this stuff that sterilizes humanity to the point where there's not going to be a market left. Well, hang on, hang on. It's a twofold objective. One, yeah. depopulation. Of course. Two, while that's happening, people are going to make absolute bank supporting this 
with drugs, therapy, and surgery. Because every person that does this and gets the bottom surgery is going to need medical care oh, yeah. for the rest of their lives. But there is a 41% chance that none of it will matter to the people who get their shit cut off next year. Hmm. Just saying. That's they, right. They, they can join the, the superhero group, the Fantastic 41%. Did, uh, didn't I mention this a couple shows ago? A guy I went to high school with is now a, a tranny. Oh, um, Yeah. I'm not going to say his name, yeah. but you know, back in the day, I mean, he was a pretty cool dude. And not anymore. Now he's all he's out of his goddamn mind, and he and listen, I don't understand this. At he's like a year or two years older than me. Yeah. All right. The amount of drugs and therapy and all the horse crap to maintain this illusion is going to cut his life radically short. Oh yeah, without a doubt. I mean, like oh my even God. if everything goes perfectly. You're still forcing hormones and treatments into your body that it's not designed to handle. You will likely get the cancer if yeah. you don't 41% yourself. Correct. And listen, I, I just want to see him you know, fix himself and get the therapy to put him on the right track. Because this delusional living is just not healthy for him or anyone oh, around him. It, and how they can be so mentally weak as to come upon this realization in like their 40s and 50s. Because I'm seeing that. Yeah. It's well, the disturbing. Thing is, all right. Now, first of all, this particular individual is surrounded by a network of sheeple. Let's just be honest. Mm -hmm. And no one's going to, you know, like, hey, this is wrong. You shouldn't do this. They're no, yas lighting him. Nobody is being honest with these individuals. No. And, and this is going on across the entire civilization. We have, like, one crazy person. Everyone around him doesn't want to, you know, rock the boat or hurt their feelings. Oh, yes, yes, yeah. 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 And it, it's literally a recipe for disaster. Yeah, I am a firm believer. Is you fucking tell them the truth? Exactly. You be honest and direct. That is a kindness that most people are unwilling to give their fellow man today. Yeah. I got yelled at all the time for that. I, I just don't get it. Since when did telling the truth become an attack? Because we have a lot of people living a lie. That's my saying. It, it just blows my mind, man. You know, if someone in the area is speaking the truth and people are getting upset, guess what? People are in that area are living a goddamn lie. Yeah. I mean, how exactly do they expect people not to burst out into fits of uncontrollable laughter when they post photos of themselves mid-transition and they're like, oh, yeah, my coworkers totally told me that they can't even tell. Yeah. yeah, sure, with your male pattern baldness, five o'clock shadow. But but yeah, that sundress really just ties the room together. <laughs> and listen, it, it's absolutely heartbreaking. It, it, I it hate is. to see this stuff. I, I hate to see people needlessly suffer for just illogical horse crap. Damn right. It's totally unnecessary. It's totally self-inflicted. And it's being reinforced by the their peer group that's like, oh, yeah, yeah. you're strong and independent. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's totally possible. It's no. not. It's not. Okay? It's not. And listen, I know there's people who watch the show who just say, Pop, you're, you're a bigot. You're an a-hole. Listen, I'm just telling you the truth. Yeah. All right? It is what it is. You, If you're born a dude, if you're XY chromosome, no matter what you do, you are not going to change that. Yep. All right. And this 126 genders, that there's probably more, can all be boiled down to two things. You know, male, female, gay, asexual. And then, yes, there are people who are born with, you know, both things, but they are outside the bell curve. So they're literally genetic anomalies. And the left has really been able to control our entire culture by arguing examples outside the bell curve to apply to everyone in the bell curve. That is illogical stupidity. Yes, it is. All right, I'm sorry. I got. I went off on a on a tangent. It's all good, man. All right. That's exactly. Well, you're not. You're not wrong. No, nah. that's absolutely correct. Gaslighting these people is not going to change the fact that they have something wrong up here. Yes. Okay, this is sick, and some, and even though this is healthy, we're going to corrupt all of this so it matches this, 
instead of fixing this so it matches the rest. It makes no sense. Unless you're a profiteering globalist ass bag. And listen, you know, it is always better to accept reality than to live in the delusion. Mm -hmm. I I just, I'm at a loss. Sean St. George wraps this up here beautifully. He said, they've already bastardized the value of truth by saying, by using their truth as objective truth. No, no. Their truth is nothing but their perspective. Exactly. Solipsism is not a good way to go through life. So suck a dick! Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, go to redonkulous.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the Meat Gazer box.